Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today, well I've been doing some, not really remodeling, but just upkeep I guess in the sunroom. I've cleaned off every single plant's leaves under the hose outside and I've um, gotten rid of a lot of shelves and moved the furniture around. I wanted to show you how it looks so far and then I thought we could do some of the other things that I wanted to do with the plants out here together. So let me show you what's going on. I'm going to be moving, well I'm going to try to find a place to put all these plants because I'm going to be making this room into a a room for my grandkids to stay while their mom goes to Costa Rica in a couple of weeks. And then after that, I think we might be possibly um, getting foster kids. So this would be a room for them. But right now, um, I for sure am going to be moving these Hoyas right here to the south window out there. They... All the Hoyas really seem to love the south window, so we're gonna do that. We'll start there. Okay, so this is the south window that I was telling you about. This is where I'm gonna hang all of the Hoyas that I was showing you from the other room. Okay, I think I'm gonna hang these curtains first, and I just wanna show you them because they are cute. I love them, and um, they are, we do have them on the shop, so if you like them, be sure to check them out. Look how cute. Of course, they're plants, and I think the green will look really nice, and they're sheer, so it'll give, like when I need to, I can close these, you know, to just protect the plants a little from that harsh south sun. So I went and bought a, um, whatever this is called. What's this called? Uh, curtain rod. I'm gonna hang that up right now and get the get the uh, curtains hung up. We've already run into a problem. The curtain rod doesn't reach all the way from that end to that end. So I'm thinking that I might just put the curtain rod like right here so that it goes to the middle of each window. Hopefully, ugh, hopefully that'll look good. What do you guys think? Hmm. Or I could just put it like on that set of windows there because that's where it really gets hot in the afternoon. What do you guys think? Should I just put it right here on those two? Hmm. So I held this metal piece up, I drilled a hole, held it up here, drilled a hole, and then held it up here and put the screws in. So I decided I didn't like that either way. Um, my curtain rod was too small to go all the way from one end to the other. So I found another curtain rod in my house. And I'm gonna take the part out, the smaller part right here, and I'm just gonna cut off Hopefully, hopefully I have the right tool. I'm not very good with tools, <laughs> but I'm gonna cut off this end here and then hopefully it'll just slide. Hmm. Slide into the middle of that so that it's long enough to go all the way from one end to the other. These are the tools I have. Okay, sorry I have a little allergy or something. Whew. Hey everybody, cross your fingers now. I don't know. Oh, I think it's gonna work. So I was putting in this little metal piece and I dropped it. It fell down somewhere in those plants right there and I went through every single bin and I ended up watering every plant and I never found it. So I had to go fetch one out of my house that wasn't being used. So 
cross your fingers I don't lose it again. So I got them hung up and I think they look really cute. They're just the perfect amount to block the light a little bit. I think I'm going to put one more up. I'm not going to do that right now. And they're a little long, so I'm probably going to hem them. But isn't that nice? They're just cute. I love them. Okay. I think I'll keep them close because it's about 90 degrees in here. This might help it a little bit. Check them out, guys. They're so cute. I love them. It's tomorrow now. Um, I got distracted. That happens. And then I hung up all the Hoyas back there. You can see them. They look really good. And I'll show you the finished product now and tell you a little bit about the Hoyas that I have hung up there. So there it is. I think it looks so cute with the curtains. I love it. What do you guys think? I think it really makes it look so nice in here. So much like more cozy. I might want to hang up some more maybe in those um, east windows there. I don't know. We'll just talk about this right now though. So um, this is my Hoya Shepardii. She's been flowering all for a while sorry for the backlight here but yeah she's got flowers all over her we put a bigger saucer in the bottom because the water runs through this one really fast and I feel like um, that it, it got really um, like this all over a lot <laughs> so I wanted something that could hold some water in it so she could suck some up because, and she looks a lot better this morning because like I said, I did this last night. But yeah, I really like in that one. And then this is my beautiful crimson um, queen. Oh, sorry. She's really pretty. I don't see ones that look like her. Like she has a lot of white leaves on her. She's beautiful. She really is. Look at all those. And I hope she likes it better here. I think she will since she's the rubra, you know, the thicker leaved varieties, they generally like it in the south window. Um, this next one here, this is the Macrophylla. Beautiful. This one's been flowering. I did have it inside on a um, trellis thing, but an arch, a bamboo arch. And I think I like it better hanging. Yeah, yeah I really like it here. Oh, I love it. And um, this one, this one's been flowering a lot too. Let me see. Can you see? Well, here's some used up flowers there. Oh, here we go. Uh, those ones, they're not really that impressive of flowers, if you ask me, but it doesn't matter. And they're kind of irregular, meaning they don't come in evenly. Like, see all those buds there? And then there's some that are have opened, and then there's some that are closed. They're just kind of wonky little flowers. You can see it's got peduncles all over that have been flowering and but anyway the flowers on this one aren't my favorite thing um my favorite thing is definitely i want to show you one of these really beautiful the leaves i don't know if you're getting that because of the backlight but see how it's like outlined in purple there they're so pretty waffly white yeah so so there's that one and then I moved my um, Hindu rope so I had this one out here at one time and then I moved it inside and it didn't flower this year so I don't think it likes it as much inside as it does out here but so maybe next year we'll get a flower again now that we've got it back where it likes to be so that's a cool one 
And then this one's the Bertonier. I've always, I really love this one. I like how it dangles. It's a pretty little thing. Kind of fuzzy. Um, we have all of these in the shop right now. Well, no, we have the Bertonier. I'll show you how those look. And we also have the uh, Hindu ropes. Those are the only ones we have right now. But we do have these these um, macrames, which are really nice if you're looking for macrames. And we also have this more simple one right here. It's just jute, really basic. And then it's got the gold hook or loop at the top. Um, let me show you the plants we have, the Hindu ropes and the Bertonies. Okay, actually they were right here. So here's an example of the Hindu ropes. They're cute little plants. And then the Bertoniers, we have a whole bunch of those. Where are they? Oh, they're down here. I thought we had more somewhere else, but I'm just pull one out so you can see. They're pretty nice lookers. Really non-fussy really cute. I haven't had mine flower yet because I've kept it in too dark of a place, but I i mean, I think they flower pretty easily if you've got them in some sunlight, so. So anyway, we've got the curtains if you like those on our website. We've got the, um, the macrames and we've also got the Hindu rope and the uh, Bertonier. So if you're looking for any of those things, check us out. I hate to make this about our garden or our plant shop, but, and it's not, but while I'm on here, I might as well tell you because the plant shop has slowed down quite a bit. So, okay, moving on. Hey guys, well, thanks for stopping by. And um, next time we're gonna We've got these little plant clips in our shop as well that you, you hook them to the wall and you can train your plants to like climb up your wall. So we're gonna be doing that over there by the pond area. And I think that'll be fun. And then let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. Um, I've got a lot of plants. We could do plant tours again, care videos. I've got all these boxes of propagations that I've done that are ready that I can pull out and we can put on the shop if that sounds fun um, yeah just let me know what you're what you're wanting to see and I hope you guys have a great day remember to plan on